Hi, my name is Steve Vokers with Steve Vokers Group. We're here today to talk about short sales. We've got a lot of information to go through and we're seeing it throughout the marketplace happening more and more. So we're hoping that these education videos will allow you to understand the process of short sale and give you enough information to then proceed on giving us a phone call to help you through that situation. We're here today with... Hi, my name is Donna Tashton. I am with Rapid Real Estate Solutions and we're a solutions company that helps people with different real estate problems and helps people with loss mitigation. How do I even qualify for a short sale, I guess? Um, we have clients calling us all the time saying that they're behind on their mortgage a month or they're not behind on their mortgage yet, but they're they're feeling like they might end up getting in that situation. Or they're not and they have money in the bank, but is it better to short sale their home than just uh, hold on to it for now because they want to move? Um, can you explain what it is that they need to do to qualify to actually be able to have a short sale under the now regulations and maybe the future regulations that might be coming out? Well, there still has to be a hardship. That really hasn't changed. And it can't be that you just want to move because you want to move. Okay. Um, that it has to be a provable hardship. Something along, I lost a job, an illness in the family, divorce in the family, um, downsizing, and you've got you're getting a less paying job. Um, all those types of things. There has to be something that's causing you that you can't make a mortgage payment. So therefore, you need to sell. Okay. So it, that that is a and if you have questions, you can always call and okay. we can go through that. So hardship is the big thing hardship that we need to find out first. Correct. When so, I as a realtor go into a listing appointment, first and foremost, I need to figure out why it is that they're asking for a short sale yes. typically. And then um, do I need to prove that hardship or is that the responsibility of the homeowner and how do they prove the hardship? Well, they need to write a hardship letter okay. and that will be, it's best if it's handwritten letter that okay. states what they're going through. There's also an income and expense sheet that we can provide okay. to be able to show that they actually have more going out than they do coming in if they okay. pay their mortgage. Okay. Um, so it's really up to the homeowner to show those numbers yep. and you know, you need to, because they have money in the bank, is it necessarily a reason that they can't have a hardship? Because down the road, they're going to lose the house and that can be provable. The only thing is if they have some assets, the bank may ask them to contribute to Let's say that twenty thousand dollars we yeah. mentioned before, between the hundred thousand dollar owing and eighty thousand sale, they may have to contribute towards something okay. percentage of that, okay. but not all of it, okay. which they're still coming out ahead. So all of that, there's a okay. lot of negotiation that goes on on what each situation is, and if people have questions, they just need to call and find out the answers. But what's protected? I have a four hundred one k or I have. $5,000 in the bank for my child's education, for buying books and mm -hmm. school clothes next year. Is any of that protected? There is some protection in all of that. Um, again, I'm not an accountant. And okay. I would recommend that they talk with an accountant sure. about all those kinds of things, but they are not supposed to be able to touch your retirement funds. And just because you have money in the bank doesn't make their main thing going to make you liquidate it. You have to live. Okay. So all of that is up for negotiation. Okay. You just shouldn't have $30,000 in there and asking them for a $20,000 reduction in their right. equity because right. that probably won't fly. What about bankruptcy? You know, I, I get the question from some folks, am I better off short selling my home or am I better off just declaring bankruptcy? How does that, how does that differ? Well, it's going to differ on your credit. Okay. And so that's a big area. A okay. short sale is generally better for you, for your credit all around. And every compared to bankruptcy compared and to foreclosure. And to foreclosure. Okay. Um, but I recommend you talk to your tax account, your accountant, and okay. your attorney regarding all those kinds of things. You cannot sell a house short if it's in your bankrupt, if it's part of your bankruptcy. Okay. So it has to be released from the bankruptcy to be able to sell it short. So okay. you can be filing bankruptcy and selling your house still. Okay. So those kinds of things can be worked in conjunction with each other. Okay. But generally speaking, the short sale is shown as a negotiated debt. It's lower on your, and it depends on what type of bankruptcy. I sure. mean, that's a whole other subject yeah. to get into. Yeah. What is it that uh, the, our, our clients are gonna need one from you and from us to make sure that that goes as smoothly as possible? I think that there's, I, I know, because we've done some deals together, there's a lot of information yes, that they're gonna need to get together. 
um, and that can be stressful, but can you run through just a quick sort of overview of what they're gonna need and, and, and then uh, maybe we'll talk a little bit about timeline. Right. Well, um, the main things that they're going to need is the financial documents um, okay. that work and that is, let's see if I can remember them all, two, two years tax returns, okay. two months pay stubs, two months bank statements, um, their income and expense sheet that shows their income and expenses and where they are, the finan their financial hardship letter. Okay. And um, that's all the things that, that you as a realtor or as a homeowner is going to need to bring to the table to be able to start the whole process. So that's in addition to all the listing information that you normally need. And so that once that process. We also have packets that are available for you okay. that will explain and give you a checklist as a realtor and the homeowner. We have okay. two different ones that are available so that you know what to expect from the realtor and the homeowner knows um, what to do to be okay. able to assist in the short sale. You okay. need a homeowner that's willing to cooperate with you. Okay. And if they're not, you know, then you're just spinning your wheels. So okay. you need somebody that's be able to become a team with the three of us, the yep. realtor, the homeowner, and us as Rapid Real Estate Solution to be able to make this happen smoothly and as fast as possible for everyone. Thanks so much, Donna, My for going pleasure. through all this stuff. It's a lot of information and we hope that people give us a call so we can help them through that emotional process of getting their house sold. Yes, bringing Thanks. help to people. Hope you're well. Thanks a lot and we look forward to working with you.